today we're going to have to take a look at WMI. Now, we've looked at WMI before, but in this case, we're going to look at specifically WMI permissions. Now, WMI has the ability to do a wide variety of things, and from that point of view, is an insanely powerful tool. But the biggest issue you have usually is how to grant those permissions without giving someone sysadmin. Now I'm going to demonstrate what I mean here with two terminal windows. So first one, I'm going to show you that I'm the administrator for my local domain. And I'm going to run a WMI query against a remote machine, just asking for the processor type. And I get a response. Now, if I do the same, but in this case as a domain user, in this case WMI user, you'll see that I'm going to get a permissions issue, or error as the case may be, telling me that I have access denied. Now the question you have to ask is, what does that access denied actually mean? So for that, let's flip over to our other machine for a second and go look at the WMI permissions. So if you go into the service management instrumentation and check the properties of it, you'll find there's a security tab. And under that, you can expand. Now the most commonly used one is the CIMV2. And if you check the permissions, you'll see by default, you've got only administrators of any real use here. The others have very limited, if any, permissions whatsoever. And that's obviously kind of an issue when it comes to remotely querying because I don't want to create an admin for every occasion to give admin access on every occasion. Now I have a solution to this, it's called creating a permissions. So what you see before you is a script that will basically set permissions for domain users. I wouldn't recommend this, usually you use whichever group or account you want to give access to. In this case I'm just going to demonstrate that it works and don't worry I'll include the link to the script below. Now, to prove it works, I'm now going to go ahead and show you, first of all, that the WMI has been set. And then I'm going to hop over to the other terminal and try to run the command again and see if it's successful. So here we're just going to go back to where we were looking at the security before and confirm that that took root. Now, while we're watching me do that, I'm going to kind of lay on you some monologue about how permissions should look. You see, one of the things that bugs me about this is that we're in the 21st century with a DevOps culture, and yet Microsoft doesn't seem to have reviewed the security model and said, hey, maybe a group for this would be useful. So please, if you're listening and you're working at Microsoft, put it in the backlog. I've reported this issue more than once, and no one seems to have done anything. That aside, this is not the only security model that needs addressing. Also look at your SQL one, please. Now that's it for today's video. If you like this, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. And be sure to subscribe.